Hi everyone, Jess here, and today I'm joined with Jitendra Sidwani. President, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me here. Of course. So your workshop looks at the transition to offer an order-based airline retailing. Yeah. What are a couple of the major challenges in this journey, and how can the industry navigate these? Yeah. See, uh, just to give you a preamble, uh, modern retailing, or the move towards the retailing, is inevitable. Airlines have to definitely do that. But with that comes a huge amount of change that they will have to manage. And if you look at, I would put it in three buckets. One, you need to change the process itself. You know, you need to bring customer truly into the center of the process now, and then build everything around it, which means the whole ecosystem changes. That's part number one. Part number two is uh, they'll have to really look at how they transition to this new modern retailing world. So the change management, and which is really driven a lot by the mindset of the people also. How do you carry the whole organization along? How do you carry all the ecosystem players along, your, your internet partners, your other partners who provide the products and services. You have to look at that aspect. And also, of course, you know, how the technology will manage this big change and reduce the risk, that's the second part of it. And thirdly, there is a big cost involved also. So airlines have to have invest time and energy in understanding and building the whole business case around it. So for me, those are the three big areas that they will have to really focus on. Fantastic, and honing in on, um, on segment one, as you called it, do you think airline retail revolution is keeping pace with travelers evolving expectations? Uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> I yet. wish that was the case. But you know what, to give credit to some of the airlines, they are trying to make the changes happen. The problem is they're limited by the old ways of doing things. See, the older technology, the older processes limits it. So you can make change happen, but very incremental. Like you're trying to personalize as much as you can with the limited capability that you have. You're trying to improve your um, revenue management capability, but with again the limited data that you have. So I would say some steps are being taken to make the change happen, but it's not really a shift that and you would expect from an airline to happen. So I think that is definitely not kept pace. But the good thing is I see um, airlines moving in that direction now, and I see them getting ready to make the change happen. So that's a more positive sign. And some of the, the most impactful technology we're seeing at the moment is AI and machine learning. Yeah. How do you think this is going to impact the sector as we adopt it more? And how will it shape the future of travel? Well, it's going to be at pretty much at the center of all the change. See, you're changing the whole technology infrastructure. But for you to make your process work very efficiently, for you to, for example, personalize the offer in a true sense of knowing your customer, offering them what they want, personalizing it for them, pricing it properly, uh, giving them a true travel experience rather than selling them a ticket, you know, uh, even avoiding things like fraud, etc. I mean, you look at the whole you know, gamut of things, pretty much AI ML is going to play a big role. And the true concept of generative AI would also kick in because you want to make the experience easier for the customer. So the more capability you give in a chat pot kind of a scenario, I think that's going to be really, really helpful for them. So that's going to be a very critical part in this journey. Yeah, it's exciting to see developments in that, yeah, in that yeah. area. And bringing it back to the customer again, as the industry is striving for this continuous improvement, how do we ensure that in innovation remains customer centric? See, this is a very interesting question actually because um, the concept of modern retailing is based on the fact that you're moving to customer-centric approach, right? You're putting customer in the center, which seems very cliched in one sense, but actually not many industries, and especially airlines, have not done it, right? But if you, the moment you make that shift happen and you put customer in the center, all your processes, all your innovation will have to be driven by how you fulfill the needs or the travel needs of that customer. Rather than just looking at them as part of your ecosystem, they become the center. So the offers that you're willing to make or which you would make, the partners that you will add to your ecosystem or the way you will fulfill the whole experience, that all will be driven by keeping customer in the center. So you'll be kind of forced to make the innovation happen. And with, if, if others start to do that, the competitive factor will also kick in, which we use, so you'll have no choice but to really make it happen. So I would think this whole shift primarily is driven by the customer centricity. That's great. And you mentioned the ecosystem right at the start. How do events like World Aviation Festival help to drive innovation within the whole ecosystem? Well, this is a very important platform. I think events like these are bringing all the, you know, the, the strategic players into the, into the same platform and helping them see the next level of truth together. I think the important thing is that 
all the ecosystem players have to come together and understand that why this shift is important. And a platform like this, what you provide from World Aviation Festival, is a very, very important platform for people to not just, you know, get the understanding, but learn deeper about it, you know. So I think this is a very critical platform for sure. Fantastic. Well, thank you for making the time sure. to speak.